if you don't put it in water, look, it starts to break and it's just fragile. There you go, guys. Look at that. So if you just give that a smell now, you just gotta smell how it's totally changed when you get that freshness of the coriander. When you use the powder, you don't get that freshness. So nice. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're gonna to be making some four noodles. Um, got these in Tesco, they were on special offer. So I thought, why not? Let me get two. We're gonna clean these up and wash, wash them on the water. And what we're gonna do is we've got a whole load of vegetables here and ingredients. In here we've got four tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sesame oil. In this one we've got three tablespoons of white wine vinegar. Noodles we're gonna use are these ones from Aldi. So we're gonna cook them up in the frying pan. We've got the coriander, spring onion, onion, pepper, cabbage, one carrot, garlic and ginger. Um, Steph's gonna be helping me out today. Hi guys. So I'm just gonna fold the cabbage over so that I can cut it similar to peppers. These are being washed, um, each pack was 165 grams, so that's 330 grams of prawns. Okay guys, so Jay has just done this whilst I was doing the chopping. So he's put in uh, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil, um, some dried chili flakes and some salt and pepper and if you smell it, you can very much smell the uh, sesame oil. So I think that will cook quite nicely. So that's what that should look like when you've finished with it. Okay guys, so what we've got is some ready to wok noodles, which are the medium egg noodles. Now, although it says ready to wok, it's not quite ready to wok and you're going to see what I mean in a minute. So I've got two in there and one here. Right, so I'm going to open it and show you what I mean. So because it was in this bag, it's kind of like vacuumed and compressed and like, like that. So what you need to do is have some warm, fresh water ready and you're just literally going to put it in the water. What will happen is it will start to hydrate the noodles a little bit because because they've been in the bag and vac sealed, they're kind of like a little bit dehydrated, I guess, and a little bit dry. And they just need a little bit of heat, like a warm heat and a little bit of moisture. Oh, look at that. See, now they are starting to come to life again. So I'm going to open the other bag and put the rest of it in. If you don't put it in water, look, it starts to break and it's just fragile, look. You see that? So that's why you want to hydrate it a little bit. And you'll see that actually it has got a coat of oil on these noodles, so, which you will see as in the water. So this is just warm water to bathe the noodles in trying to hydrate them and give them a little bit of life before you start cooking them. Just to recap on that, we've got some carrots, yellow pepper, red pepper, orange pepper, and those are bell peppers, uh, cabbage, garlic, meat garlic, and ginger, and then we've got some spring onion or scallion, whatever you call it. And there's some onion over here. And then to garnish later on, we'll have some coriander. 
just heating up the pan. Gotta use some fry light guys. Make this one a little bit healthier. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put the prawns in this. This only literally needs three minutes to cook, but we're gonna do it two minutes, take it off. Then we're gonna do the veg in it. Then we're gonna add the noodles and finish it off. Okay, so he's putting in the onions. Some of the ginger and some of the garlic, you know? Okay, you're adding in some of the ginger and the garlic alongside the onions, basically. Yeah, I've kept half of the ginger and the garlic um, for the veg. As soon as your feet start smoking, you put your hand there, you can feel the heat, you know that's hot enough. Give the head a little mm. sizzle. And as quick as you can, try and put all the prawns on here equally down so they're all cooked evenly at the same time. That's what you really want. The aroma of this guy. Beautiful. You can see that already going pink. Look, I know you don't eat corn, but it smells good. It smells nice. Just that, that. I appreciate the smell. Wow. Look at that. That's so nice. See, so guys, the same recipe like this with a noble butter. Ooh. Squeeze half a lemon in here, coriander and parsley will be perfect on its own. I'm going to take the prawn out because we don't want to overcook them. Turn that down so I don't burn my hand. Now, we've got all this juice here. We've got all the juice on the plate here. No. So you want a bit more fry light in there or oil, whatever your preference is. If you want it to be rich, you use butter. But I just recommend um, just normal vegetable oil. And then again, you're going. Light. Again, you're going in with the onions and the garlic and ginger just to get those started up right. So now, if you can see in the pan, it looks like it's going to start burning. That's okay. And you're going to see why it's okay, what we're going to do. Now, Every vegetable out there has moisture in it, so we've got liquid in these. I've turned it down a little bit because you don't want to overcook the vegetable in the high fire because this will stir fry quick. Listen to that. So what was that? White wine vinegar. Okay. That's three tablespoons of white wine vinegar. Now you see that bottom we were just talking about that was burning? So that when you're making a roast and everything's burning at the bottom and you put water and you're making your own gravy. Now if you look at the vegetable, look how that's just come back to light. So now we can bring the fire up a little bit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add about three tablespoons of water as well. And now in comes the soy sauce. Four tablespoons of soy sauce and the sesame oil. Oh you're yeah. Gonna, you're going to see that start bubbling around now because it's going to start getting up the heat. I could just eat that by itself. I know. This is normally, this is guys, this is normally how I do a lot of my veg. 
So I'm gonna have it with rice. I don't always put the sesame oil in it because I try to do it on the healthy side. Now, before that evaporates, this is when we put the noodles in. Now, I will add more soy sauce to this. Depending which soy sauce you use, you've got to be wary with how much you add. Normally, I use an extra dark soy sauce, so I'd get away with about four to five tablespoons in total. Because this one's the one I've bought from Aldi. It's not, even though it's dark, I'm probably going to need about another four to five tablespoons at least but because it's darker it's not as salty that's the soy sauce I've actually got from Aldi So to be honest, that's about just under half a bottle of the soy sauce. I'm probably gonna add a tiny bit more, but I'm gonna taste it first. So how big is that bottle? 150 ml, so half the bottle will be 75 ml. As um I will put a picture up actually in the corner so they can see what soy sauce I actually use most of the time which I would recommend over the Audi one as you yeah, can put a lot yeah. you, for things like soy sauce, sesame oil you need to buy these proper brand one and what I mean by proper brand one is the extra dark one because we'd want it a lot darker but with this you won't get the colour and if you put too much in the food will be salty so then you've got that problem where you've got to keep tasting your food Mm-hmm. Salty? No. Okay. I'm gonna add another two tablespoons of the See with soy. the other soy sauce you definitely wouldn't need that. Much. No, um four tape so four tablespoons will be more than enough and you'll be able to tell because you'll colour the noodles and yes. the noodles will be dark brown. So you've really got to be on the ball about what soy sauce you've got. Um, Lights Light soy sauce will tend to be saltier guys because it's got less soya beans in it. So because it's got less soya beans in it, the soya bean come back to the flavour even though it's actually got more salt so you'll get more saltiness in the light soy sauce. Mm. So you just chop in the coriander there? Yeah. Because cool. as much as I'm going to use it for garnish, I do want it to go in and flavour the food. Now do this, give the food a smell now. If you can smell what's coming off there. Mm. Gosh, look how vibrant that is. Yes. And that's pretty much done, I'd say. Yeah, it is done. I've already done that. Oh. <laughs> no, you know, you know what I've got to do in it. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh yeah. 
That's perfect.